Hey guys, welcome back. Fast Monty's Garage. This is our Tremec install part eight, if you can believe it or not. We're almost there. Uh, last episode, we actually finished our tunnel uh, patch panel work and the transmission was out. We're going to put it in one more time for test fitting because we have to talk about the wire harnesses that are involved. I have not put the interior back together because I want to run the wires up into the cabin and then underneath the carpet to the dashboard to save some space. So on the side of your transmission, this is a TKO 600. I'm sure they're similar on a T56 or Magnum or whatever the other trim mix are. I don't even know what they are. Um, because I've never done this before, if, you've, if you're new. <laughs> so there's a couple different wire harnesses. This one on the front is for your reverse light. Um, on a 69 and 68 GTO, the reverse light is actually controlled by a lever that comes off of the old uh, shift linkages and it would rotate the steering column and there's a switch in there and I'll draw a diagram of that uh, when we get there. The other harness on here is actually a switch, a neutral switch. So again on a 69, that's all I can refer to, I think 68 is the same. When you push the clutch in on the uh, manual clutch there's a, a trigger and that allows you to start the engine. You can't start the engine unless your clutch is down. This is the same thing. It is optional. So you have to go to Silver Sport or wherever you got your transmission from to get this pigtail. So I'm going to put the transmission back. Oh, sorry. There's a third thing I forgot. You either have a mechanical speedometer or a electric speedometer. The electric speedometer is on this side. This is a cool little table, right? So we are also going to talk about the speedometer cable because while we're under the car and underneath the dash and doing our wiring is a good opportunity to do your speedometer cable. You're going to have two types. One is a screw on, which is most common. I think 68 and 69 GTOs have a snap in or maybe even the later GTOs have a snap in one. So that's the one I have. And, uh, We'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the transmission back in so we can see where to put our wire harness. I don't know where to put it in the floorboard yet. And we can play with different locations. So if you haven't done so, subscribe so you can follow this madness. And hopefully we'll get the GTO up and running uh, before too long. And we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, guys, here's what we got. So I've, my power cable from the trunk is probably going to run underneath... And then up over here, I don't know if you can see that back in there. Uh, we have a speedometer cable, which I ran. And it goes right in, in that. It goes in that hole, which is covered. Here's the rear harness. And I think what I'm going to do is actually just put a hole right up in there. Um, because I don't want it hanging. I don't want it over here because we have our yoke spinning it whatever RPM and uh, so I'm gonna get up in the car and check out what areas we have to drill and then in the front so here's the front harness so here's the reverse tail light and I think just running straight up and putting a hole at the top of the tunnel will be fine and uh, I think we'd be good there so I'm gonna get in the car and just examine what we can do and make some holes be right back okay guys so top side I made a hole right here and if you see that purple wire that's the wire from the reverse switch so we can go ahead and do our splicing um, inside the car and speaking of reverse switches that's it right there that thing that's on top of the steering column so once we run our wires those two green wires is what we displace uh, to the new reverse switch and we are good to go on the reverse light I don't have to detail the process on that it's pretty straightforward now the revert the uh, neutral switch so it's attached right it actually is long enough to reach this hole so I'm gonna get back underneath the car and see if there's a way 
to prevent this from shaking around because if it's mounted down there like that I'm just gonna I don't want it to hit anything or bind on anything so I'm just gonna look hey guys so I went fishing and I went to get those wires a little electrician trick I went down there taped the wires together and pulled the wire back out so plenty of wire lengths to play with so I'm gonna go with that all four wires I'm gonna have come out that hole and for sanity yes I'm gonna check the other wires too well, I'm glad I checked the reverse light switch because I don't have enough wire. So we're going to cut those shorter and uh, splice it so the splice would be before entering the tunnel. And I have some pretty cool wireless, I mean, sorry, waterproof splices I'm going to show you. And we'll go from there. Alright guys, here's my plan of attack here. So, under the car, I want it to come out to this, this flange. This hole is actually not being used, so... I could use it and put a clamp on there, hold the wires together, um, and it runs up to about this point with the reverse light wires. Or I can run them together like this, whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice it here with the waterproof splices. And same with the reverse light switch, I'm going to splice it up here. So that'll give us room if we need to pull the wires through the hole because once we run the extension wires through the grommet you can't you need some room for uh, the splice it's not going to fit through the grommet and that's why i didn't want to do it on the other side of the grommet if we needed more wire it would get stuck so that's the plan and then we will get the um, speedometer cable in here i can actually zip tie these two together so they're not going to shake so i like it be right back all right guys check this out this is one of my favorite new technologies it's a a splice that you heat up and there's solder in the middle and the solder melts and then these shrink down around the around the wires making a waterproof and soldered connection so I use these on a couple of home projects and they worked really good so I'm going to use them today and what you do, and I decided to use black wires, so two black wires like this for the neutral switch. And then for the reverse, I'm gonna, I have pink. Sorry, guys. It's the only other color I had. Anyway, um, you twist them together. Like so, they don't have to be super tight. And then you slip the seal over it like that. So the solder's right in the middle. And then you take a heat source, so you can use a heat gun or a lighter. Check it out, so it's soldered, and when it cools, it'll be waterproof on both sides. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the other one, and then I have um, some shrink wrap tubing over both wires that I'll heat up after I'm done. I will show you the end result. All right, guys, so uh, I went ahead and got carried away as usual. <laughs> you guys know me by now. Uh, so here's our first splice to our neutral switch and then I went ahead and tied all four wires together with the reverse light and then here's the splice for the reverse light and then I um, shrink wrapped all four wires and then here's the grommet that I'll put up in the in the tunnel so it's for a 5 16 inch hole I think I drilled a quarter inch hole I, it'll fit and then once we find our final location, like after we put the transmission in, I'm going to go ahead and put um, RTV in here. So that'll lock it in place. It'll also seal it from the elements if there are any. And we can go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and 
um, put it in the in the tunnel tape it to the tunnel and we should be good to go for the next step check it out guys there it is temporarily taped in place going up through the top of the tunnel right there and when we get the transmission in I can pull this little tighter but uh, it's out of the way for our install process next episode we have to I'm gonna have this off and we're gonna put the flywheel on and, and clutch etc and go from there we're getting there hey guys episode 8 is complete our wire harness is all set up uh, I hope you learned something if you did hit like for me and if you haven't subscribed do so because we have a lot more to do and I think you'll enjoy it so next episode as I mentioned I'll have the bell housing off so we have to put the flywheel on the clutch on for anyone who wants to learn that and we're going to talk about measuring for the hydraulic throw out bearing yes fun stuff that I've never done before <laughs> so thanks again for hanging out and you guys know the drill build them fast drive them faster see ya